about a few thoughts about your life purpose. Now, I absolutely believe that everyone has the same life purpose, and it is to be the love, to live in love, to absolutely commit themselves to love and let all thoughts of separation and suffering dissolve and resolve into the nothingness from which they came. Now here's the thing, people are engaged in activities all day long. So we are interested in being involved in activities that truly light us up and that float our boat and bring a deep sense of fulfillment. What I know is the ego has so many ideas about what that should be and what that could be. But our heart knows something different. And here's what our heart knows. Our heart knows that when we align with our divine purpose to be the love in our own life, then absolutely without fail, we will succeed. There is no failure when we're aligned with our divinity. There is no failure. So you can put your whole heart into whatever endeavor it is that you'd like to do. If the one and only reason you're doing it, really and truly, is it's an opportunity for you to be loving and to learn how to be more loving and more congruent with love itself. If we're doing something for any other reason, trying to accomplish something in the world, trying to add one cubit to our stature, then we've already failed to a certain degree. It doesn't mean that we still can't learn and still can't become more loving and more open-hearted and more generous and all of that, but we've missed the big opportunity. So this is really key to understand. It's so helpful to understand. Decide to be the love, no matter what you're doing. And you know what? You're going to give up all that suffering. So many people are suffering because they think the reason they aren't happy is because they're not doing the work that they love. What I can honestly tell you is for years and years, I was going to school studying to be a practitioner. I was going to school studying to be a minister. And I really deeply desired being able to earn my living as a minister and a spiritual teacher. And it wasn't until I was totally 100% committed to love, no matter what I was doing, that I became successful as a spiritual teacher, leader, minister, writer, and all the things that I do now. I am successful because I'm committed to love. I cannot fail because I am committed to love. And you know what? It just doesn't matter really that much what I'm doing as long as I'm in service to that love. I was sharing with somebody recently that I can remember when I first started out leading workshops, traveling hours to teach a workshop for one person and traveling hours back home again. I could have thought that that was a failure, but I didn't because I knew it was a great workshop. I knew that I was going in God and so there were no mistakes. But I also learned that some organizations are better at marketing and some aren't. And for, for me as a minister, I kind of feel like part of what I'm doing is I'm marketing the efficacy of these spiritual principles. So to me, it's really important that I be successful. And it all starts with, am I living in love? Am I being the message? Because if I'm not being it, nobody's going to hear anything I have to say. It just won't matter at all. It won't matter at all. And what I know is you can be incredibly successful if you put love first. You put love first in your work, in your family, in the way that you take care of your body, in the way that you chew your food, in everything that you do. And you'll be successful in everything that you do. And you will feel loved. You will know the beloved. The judger always feels judged. The attacker always feels attacked. And the lover always feels beloved. You are the beloved of the beloved. Say yes to that love and be it. You will succeed and you will never fail. 
If you like this video, please let me know. Hit the like button. Make a comment. Share at Facebook. I love you. Thank you.